What a great occasion, what a great day in South Carolina, uh, being flanked here by many of my colleagues and many of my friends who are businessmen throughout our state. That would be our South Carolina auto dealers. South Carolina auto dealers are in almost every community in our state. In many communities, their business is the cornerstone of the business community where they're from. Our friends, our families, um, our, our acquaintances, the people we go to church with, the people we go to school with, chances are there's a family that works for one of our auto dealers in South Carolina. And what we have done here legislatively, we've joined, we've joined with legislation that's been passed in nearly 40 states, bringing our dealer franchise laws up to standards of what's happening in other states. This is a good day in South Carolina because it ensures that the business people that we know and rely on in our communities will be able to continue to earn a living, to continue to expand their business, continue to raise the standard of living and the quality of life for the people in their communities because their businesses will be stronger. It makes our state stronger. And I'm so thrilled to be joined by so many of our auto dealers and our legislators that supported this and especially our governor who saw fit to sign this legislation into law. At this time, I'd like to turn it over to T.J. Johnson, the president of the South Carolina Auto Dealers Association. Thank you, Senator. First off, I'd like to say it's a great day for the state of South Carolina. You know, this bill has been a long time coming. Uh, we've had a lot of people work hard to get it done. It's good for the consumers, good for the state, and also good for the business people of South Carolina. Uh, this bill could not have been passed without the efforts of a lot of people. I'd like to note especially the work of Senator Grooms, uh, who worked tirelessly on behalf of the consumers of the state and for the business people, and Senator Sean Bennett, and along with a lot of other senators that you see represented here, along with the executive committee and the dealers around the state. Uh, it's a good day for the state of South Carolina, good for business people, good for the consumers, again, and good for the state. Thank you, Governor. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Every day in South Carolina is a good day for business because our business is business. Amen. And the, thank you, Senator. <laughs> 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 Anytime I say something, <laughs> but uh, this, it really is. This is a good step forward, and a lot of other states have taken similar steps. But I am sure that our bill is much better. We're and number it, one it, now. We're still. number one now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And the members of this association of new car dealers is over, what, 270 or 280 such? 280 plus, yes. And as Senator Groom said, the automobile dealers, are, are they're, they're, those are businesses, strong businesses, selling necessary products for our people, and they're all over the state. And I'm also happy to point out that uh, earlier today we were out on I-26 a few miles down, and I'll be recommending to these same senators and representatives that we take $360 million of that ARPA money and put it right smack on I-26. That will put us six years ahead of schedule in fixing those roads and widening that road between Columbia and Charleston, which is a uh, much needed uh, part of our great economy and will allow more people to ride more ve vehicles happily <laughs> up, and up and down the South Carolina roads. So before we sign the bill, is there anyone who has a question for anyone here? Hearing none, we'll now do it. Thank you. <laughs>